So the, the call is like this. So you go find your ideal SEO clients, so your potential clients, and then you send email outreach, like cold email outreach, and check out their website and tell them what is wrong with their website. And then that's how you get on their radar and that's how you sell your SEO service, right? Well, that's apparently what everybody's doing, but to me, it sounds like absolute madness. Well, I actually fell into this nonsense quite a long time ago myself when I started. I found this specific target audience where I knew I could help them with my SEO link building service. And then I just started pitching them and I was really personalized. Like I would literally go to Ahrefs and take this snapshot of their uh, DR and traffic and explain them how we can improve those things. And I was, I was like, man, why are they not replying? Or is it, they're really dumb. I'm showing so much, giving them so much value here. Why aren't they accepting this? Until it kind of occurred to me that this is just absolute madness. This is absurd. Like, just think about it yourself. So you are in a SaaS company or you are maybe a dentist or a chiropractor, whoever your ideal target audience is. So you went out there, you created this website, you posted some content, maybe even hired several people to do this. Maybe you got burned by some of them, finally got it all figured out after spending a lot of uh, time and money and like you really figured it out. And then the moment your website star starts ranking a little bit, all of a sudden you start getting these cold emails like from people you've never heard of before, all saying that your website is basically a piece of crap, yeah? Because, well, you're not doing this right, or you're missing some schema, or you're missing some internal links, or all that nonsense. Like, seriously, like these guys that you have never heard of before have the nerve to go and tell you that your website is actually a piece of crap while you put so much work and effort into all this. I mean, this is crazy. Like, how are you going to react to this person? Yeah, what are you going to tell them? Well, maybe you tell them to, you know, to go and get lost. Essentially, that's what the absolute majority of people do. So that is really, really important to understand. And the majority of like B2B sales, like SEO service and is SEO selling in particular is all evolving around this matter that you have to go out there and literally right from the very start without any introduction, without even introducing yourself to your potential client, to go up there and start harassing your potential clients with everything you could help them with. Just think about it, like let's let's switch this subject to the real life. Imagine you're walking on the street, yeah? And uh, all of a sudden there's this, somebody just jumps out from the crowd and goes directly to you. And it's like, hi there, hi dear, how are you? I'm, uh, I see that you haven't gotten a haircut for a long time. Well, I can certainly help you improve it right now. Yeah, you can go and I can give you a haircut and you will look so much nicer and it will be so good for you and everything. You look at them, you're like, are you mad? Like, who are you? I don't know you. Like, I haven't been thinking about a haircut. Like, I, I probably, I do know that I need a haircut because I've been out there for like five weeks already or so without one. I, I was thinking of getting one maybe next week or so, but like, who are you? Are you mad or something? Like, chances are you will not jump on this offer. Yeah, and that's essentially what happens all the time with these, uh, with your potential clients when they receive these crazy cold email pitches and like, like, what are you expecting to happen? So if not, if that's not the case, how do you go and connect with those people? So I highly recommend connecting with people through LinkedIn. So you can go out there, you can still find those websites through Google and then see if they're a SaaS company, you can always find a SaaS company on LinkedIn, find whoever is the decision maker there, maybe like a few people from the decision making unit, try to connect with them on LinkedIn. So if they're not, uh, if they're not on LinkedIn, they're probably on some other networks. You can always figure it out by going into, say, if you're picking chiropractors, for example, you can always go into Facebook chiropractic group and find some chiropractors there and connect them with them through Facebook. And then you just strike a normal conversation with them, you know, without trying to be salesy. Of course, it takes a bit of practicing, practicing because small talk and literally figuring this out, how to connect with those people will take you a while. And the reality is that the absolute majority will not be interested in your service on the spot. And that is totally fine. But the moment you connect with them, you start a conversation with them, just getting to know them, getting to know their, um, more about their business and asking like some basic things, joking about weather and whatnot. All these things, they really help to develop this personal relationship. All that while you'll be publishing content on Facebook or LinkedIn, that is potentially helpful for them, for this target audience. So while they 
interact with you, they see that you're creating valuable content, that you're helping them to solve their pains, you understand that they're what they're struggling with, and then they see can they, they can see that you help them, that you can help them as well. So the moment will arrive in time when they might ask you about their service, or you will invite them for a what is called a discovery call, where you just chit chat about whatever, just meet the person online for 10-15 minutes. That's all it takes. And this is when, at this stage, you might start talking business at the very end of the call. But before that, you cannot just jump out there and like, oh yeah, here's my service. Like, I know all the pain points you got. I can help you sell them. That is really, really cool. But you don't know, like, they, they don't know who you are. They'll be scared. Just like you'd be scared when somebody out of the crowd just jump on you, offering you like a haircut because, well, you haven't, you can see that a haircut is definitely due there. I hope it makes sense because this is really valuable. So I posted about this in my Freedom SEO, the, the LinkedIn group that I have. So, uh, and you can see I've been really, really <laughs> dramatic about this one because that's the reality. You first have to develop a relationship, develop an authentic connection before you can try pitch them, before they will be receptive, receptive to your creative. So you, you actually need to make sure that they know who you are. You need to make sure you establish a proper relationship and they, they know that you can trust you and everything in between, okay? And after that, you can start talking about business side of things. So if you're not a member of my amazing uh, Freedom SEO group, well, uh, feel free to join and I'll see you there. See you in the next video.